Today, we're talking about RB Robotics. Uh, RB Robotics is a special request that was uh, brought to our attention and asked for to highlight the company and see what we think of it. So RB Robotics, a company that was formed in 2015, Tel Aviv, Israel based RB, uh, actually went IPO'd via a SPAC, specialty purpose acquisition company uh, in October of 2021. Here's what's interesting. The opening price of RB was $7.95 per share. And as we'll talk a little bit, a little bit more, that is, the, what you can buy it at today is quite a bit less than the than the IPO price, even though Arby has had quite a run uh, in recent uh, recent weeks and, and months. A little bit more about Arby, Perception Radar. Uh, so a semiconductor company that develops four dimensional uh, images for for cars, uh, robots, um, vehicles, uh, drones, other other devices and what their products do are really enhance safety, um, identify stationary type objects, uh, eliminate um, false uh, things that, that are that are not there, and uh, help with uh, vision at, at night. So uh, this is quite an interesting company. Uh, they've got an interesting chipset and a lot of interest in RB lately. Um, it's got some momentum. A little bit of meme stock status, a little bit, but they've been around the block. They've got real products that they're just ramping up now, which makes it all the more interesting. And here's some other things. They've gone through a number of cash raises uh, that they've taken advantage of a, raising, a rising stock price. Okay, so they're flush with cash right now. They can execute. They've got plenty of operating cash to build out the company and grow it significantly. I also have the NVIDIA collaboration that was just recently announced uh, to work with uh, NVIDIA's radar technology and, and use their AI and, and super processing capabilities. Very exciting news, created uh, a lot of stir when that announcement came out. And the other interesting thing is, is that in early 2025, they're expected to start shipping their, their products, their chipsets to the original equipment uh, manufacturers so uh, to be embedded and some of these customers would be like Hyundai, Mag Magna, uh, NVIDIA as as well as many others. Um, the last real interesting point I, I want to hit at before we talk about some of the share price specifics are huge insider ownership. So when you see this RB has 29% of their shares controlled by insiders, owned by insiders. That's a substantial portion of the company. And your interest, if you choose to become an investor, is aligned closely with management, the boards. And this is usually, usually creates good outcomes. Um, so let's take a look at the particulars and see if everything still lines up for us. Okay, so RB Robotics, some of the particulars. Well, let's talk real quickly about the addressable market. Um, RB's indicating they have an addressable market in 2025 of $11 billion in, in total. That's a lot of business to potentially go after for, for this small company. And when I say small, it is a small cap. So market cap is $357 million as of the time we're looking at this. With a price of $3.74, it's had great performance this past week in a very tricky market, most notably due to the NVIDIA uh, collaboration that was announced. Uh, despite the fact that they had yet another round of uh, share offerings to bolster their cash position. So there's still some good momentum here and a lot of excitement. Uh, I, that also means they have good cash and good liquidity to fund the operations and expand the company, continue that R&D and put it into growth mode. And with a company that, that is expected to start shipping product in better quantities in sometime in early 2025, uh, this, these are all good signs. So let's just talk about the performance uh, of the stock a little bit. At $3.74, you know, as I look back into it, over a five year period of time, uh, when, when this company went IPO, you're getting it for less than the IPO price. And with a lot of momentum, the technology has advanced better collaborations with original equipment manufacturers and specifically NVIDIA collaborating with, with them. Boy, that, that NVIDIA really has their, their talents into a lot of 
uh, new high tech companies. Um, there's a lot of good things that are happening with, with Arby here. Uh, revenue uh, in 2024 is expected to be about a million dollars, quite small. But the 2025 revenue, from the estimates that I've seen, is looking at seven to $10 million. So quite a, quite a jump uh, for, for the company. And my guess is that this could go substantially higher, being some of the collaborations that they now have in place, NVIDIA, and the momentum that that's going to uh, draw into the company. So I guess when you take a step back and take a look at it, the company is getting a lot of attention. It's holding up quite well in this small cap sell-off that we've endured over the last couple of weeks or so. And if they get a few good breaks along the way here, this company could be a fantastic hold into the future. Um, I'm a long-term holder. Uh, when, I, when I do jump into these stocks, I don't own this yet, but I'm looking at jumping in on Monday morning, looking to get in probably initial 100, 200, 300 shares, watch it, learn it, study the company more, and then buy on, on dip opportunities and build up a sizable stake over time. This is, uh, this is a company that's getting closely tethered to some of the great technology companies that are out there and looks like good things are going to happen in 2025 for Arby. Hope this helps. Let me know what you're doing. And uh, again, thanks for the special request and letting us take a closer look at it to the, to the viewer who asked for this. We'll talk soon.